Hey, right, life update video. So today, as um, we are still in lockdown and uh, I wanted to make another video for my uh, YouTube channel, I thought I would do a bit of soul searching. And of course, in this time, I've been doing a lot of tidying up. Um, and I thought I'd look at all my past jobs. Yay! Now, these are not all my past jobs, but it's a selection because I've found all my old name badges and all my ID cards. So I thought I'd take a look back and uh, see if I can remember working for these companies. So here we go. My So my first ever, ever, ever job, proper job, paid job, was working for a wonderful fast food re retailer, um, but not just any fast food retailer the king of all kings. Yeah, I used to work for Burger King. So my first ever proper job was working at Burger King. Now, technically, if I remember correctly, I don't think they were meant to have hired me because I was 16. And I think there was like some rule that I shouldn't have been actually working there. Um, but I was busting tables at Burger King. And then I basically did a bit of everything there. So it was really funny because being a vegetarian and working at Burger King, quite fun. Uh, but weird um, and then before I left I actually started to train and do some supervisors shifts so um, yeah it was really weird um, I worked at a Burger King at a service station so it was slightly different so you weren't directly employed by Burger King you were employed by the service station um, so the deals that we used to have to deal with were overpricing the fact that it was more expensive to eat at our Burger King than a normal Burger King, all those kind of crazy things. And being a vegetarian, it was just great to lie to people quite a lot. <laughs> that sounds really bad. But people would say, oh, what's the burgers like? And I'd be like, <laughs> get the large one and get the bacon. That'd be amazing. So yeah, so that was my opportunity. I did actually have a service supervisor full proper badge, but I've only got my training badge. But I do remember getting it because it had my full name on it. For some reason, when you were a supervisor, you got a badge with your full name and not just your first name. So yeah, so Burger King, first job I had. Uh, I had it whilst I was, it must have been at the end of uh, end of school. So it must have been like year 10, year 11, when I was working there and doing weekends and summer holidays and half terms. But it was great, I loved it. It was a great experience. I met some really cool people. Uh, God, uh, it's actually, that's actually a good point. Yeah, so, um, this was the first job where I got starstruck because I was working here when Fame Academy was on and the Fame Academy tour came in to buy Burger Kings whilst they were on their route to wherever they were going and the sad thing was I was the only person that knew they were from Fame Academy and the people I worked with didn't so yeah so there you go but Burger King fun times it was good it was a good first job um, and it was a great chance to actually get a paycheck and start making some money on my own um so yeah so i did that for quite a while um definitely did it at the end of school and maybe for a bit of college but when i was at college i ended up getting a new job and that job was for the wonderful company of ikea yeah look at that face how bad is that that is the worst face i was a big I was a big guy when I was younger. But yeah, so I worked at Ikea and their name badges were quite boring. It was just that. So Ikea, started when I was at college. Um, and yeah, so it was a, an interesting experience. I started on the checkouts. So I used to be that guy who used to have to zap all your, all your products. And it was really annoying if you didn't load your trolleys correctly and make sure that all your freaking barcodes in the right order because that used to annoy me quite a lot um but being on the checkouts was quite cool um after checkouts i ended up going into showroom and working on sofas and storage and that kind of area so yeah so it was really fun i used to love it um it was great um the only thing i would say was the downside from working for ikea was trying to build flat pack furniture on the shop floor whilst the shop was open it used to be a nightmare absolute nightmare um just because people would start talking to you whilst you're trying to build something and it was just an absolute nightmare um but yeah i i really liked ikea and their christmas presents were actually really good i got an mp3 player and a foldable bike they're the two that i can remember there might have been other things but i definitely did love ikea um i did it through college and then i did it for the first 
think it was my first year of college, uh, sorry, my college time I was there and definitely the first year of uni because I remember that um, I actually moved from Nottingham up to London to go to university and I started working at Tottenham Hill which was one of the more controversial Ikeas because there was that crazy sale and people got hurt and all that kind of stuff and I started work after that so yeah. Um, so Ikea did look after me for quite a while uh, and yeah nice nice group of people always did a good Christmas party uh, and yeah the, the nice thing about that so yeah so I've still got that wonderful picture of me back in the day when my face was so big it's kind of getting like that again due to being in coronavirus and not going out properly so yeah so after Ikea uh, I worked in bars and I did the, the uni thing. Um, and then after that, so when I finished uni, my first job was working for a sub company, this wonderful company called Thompson's. This is my newer badge, but this wasn't the badge that I had when I was working first time for, for them. Cause I was out in Cyprus and I was doing entertainment in hotels. So yeah. So um, that was my first opportunity to work for the wonderful Thompson's before it became Tui. After that, I came back to the UK uh, to try and do that whole acting thing and of course when you're an actor the best places to work are two very well-known uh, department stores so I ended up working for, yes you guessed it Harrods I don't know if I'm allowed to show you this well it doesn't work it doesn't work anymore I don't even think I'm meant to have it but look at that picture that was me when I worked at Harrods how crazy is that so yeah so I used to work for Harrods uh, selling coffee machines and that was my opportunity to meet the wonderful Jack D. I met Duffy um, and sold some interesting Nespresso coffee machines and I have to say they are good coffee machines. I do like a Nespresso. Do you like a Nespresso? So yeah, so that got me to Harrods. So I did a couple of different ventures for Harrods, which was really cool. And then because of Harrods, I got the opportunity to go and work for the wonderful Selfridges. Look at that face. That was quite a big guy. Crazy times. So yeah, so then I worked out over at Selfridges. That was fun. Did some different things at both of those department stores. I have to say, I do like the Selfridges badge. They were quite cute. They were really nice. So yeah, love that. So yeah, and then from that, I worked directly at their store for a bit for Nespresso. So I got that. And then I've only just realized they spelled my name wrong. They gave me one T and not two. How bad's that? So yeah, Nespresso was an interesting company to work for. Um, so yeah, so I did that for quite a while. Um, it was kind of like agency work. So I did that whilst auditioning for, goodness knows what, everything and anything, uh, just to try and get some work. Um, and yeah, working in department stores are always quite interesting. You meet some interesting people and uh, have lots of fun. So yeah, mm, fun, but yeah. So yeah, so they were the, that was my Nespresso days. Then, of course, I left the country again, uh, this time to go to America. Way! <laughs> and this was my opportunity to go and work on cruise ships. So I then went and worked for the wonderful Norwegian Cruise Line. So there we go. There's my badge. I don't have my ID. I think they take it off you. But the best thing about your ID is also your credit card on board. So I spent a lot of money and was drunk quite a lot through my cruising days um, but yeah so I worked for Norwegian Cruise Line really cool cruise line to work for uh, kind of uber cool funky um, we had some buyouts so we got to do like a 48 hour dance cruise and stuff like that which was really interesting um, and yeah met some really nice people got to go to America got to do Miami and all those kind of places which was really cool and really enjoyed it but I think my time on ships um, was definitely a short-lived experience just because I realised I don't like <laughs> living where I work which is funny because of what my final job was is but um yeah the fact that you can't just go out at the end of the night or do your shift and then relax uh, kind of got to me a bit by the end um, but we had some amazing times working for Norwegian Cruise Line and they did some awesome shows and some awesome content and I know their ships are quite cool so if you're ever looking for a cool laid back cruise and they're actually quite well priced from what I can remember Norwegian Cruise Line definitely do it 
Um, so yeah, Norwegian cruise line. Hit me up if you want to give me another job. Um, after I finished with Norwegian, um, I came back and uh, came back to the UK. And I think my first job back in the UK may have been Thought Park. So I did the Fright Nights. And then I know Fright Nights, I know it was definitely Fright Nights because after that I went over and worked for Warners. And I actually got the acceptance call when I was at Thought Park. So, um, so yeah, so um, I got to work for Warner Leisure Hotels. Everyone thought I was working for Warner Brothers. That is an incorrect. Um, but it was Warner Hotels. Warner Hotels are adult-only hotels based in the UK, um, and they're kind of like coastal villages, they're like historic houses, they're fancy hotels, and they used to have an in-house entertainment team. And in that in-house entertainment team, we used to do shows in the evenings, and we used to do all the daytime activities in the day. Um, but I have to say, working for Warners, their shows were incredible. I used to love doing the shows at Warners. They were so well made, uh, the costumes were awesome, and the show content was like mental. Um, one of my favorite shows that we did at Warners uh, was called Dream Lover. And it was like a little 50 minute uh, narrated, narrated, no, that's not the wrong word. It was like a scripted, like little mini mu musical. So um, it was all their 50s and 60s songs, and there was like a storyline, it was great but really did when i worked at warners like one of the best things about being in show team for warners entertainment team for warners is their their shows were at the top they were amazing loved them so they were great so yeah don't actually have a picture of me working at warners or an id card but yeah there we go after i finished at warners uh many years after uh because i i think i i think i was at warners for what, what maybe four years i can't remember Something like that. Um, I actually went back and went for that wonderful company again, good old Thompson's, um, or TUI now, uh, and ended up doing two different concepts for them. I did couples for a season and then gold for a season. Um, so, yes, I did that um, and just realised that I love travelling and I love doing the job. I just didn't want to be out of the UK for such a long period of time since then so uh i did that for a bit um so yeah so that was my my second installment of working for thompson's kind of there was a, some other bits in between this these are the only ones i can remember um so yeah so thompson's again good company to work for um and then after thompson's if i remember correctly i worked for legoland but i don't have my name badge for legoland because you have to give it in otherwise they charge you so i didn't get that um, but yeah, worked for Legoland for, I think, two seasons. And whilst working at Legoland, I had some extra jobs. So that's when I got an extra agency and did some TV work. And I also did some other agency work. One of which was one job that I was actually quite impressed that I got. I was working for Hamleys, the world's greatest toy store. I thought this was going to be a really cool job. <laughs> But it was one of the most stressful jobs I think I ever had. It was all commission based. So by the time you made it into work, uh, you would do like an eight hour shift. And if you didn't sell, you really didn't make any money that day. And just think of a, a room full of people trying to make sales and yeah, trying to buy over people. But do you know what? It is a really cool place. And if you ever get to go and see Hamleys, go and see it because the original one on Regent Street is cool and that's where I was based and I was based in the door so I was like one of the first people you used to see throwing frisbees and then I realised that I should have applied for their in-house entertainment team because they just dressed up and ran around for all day <laughs> and greeted people I was like what did I do wrong but yeah so worked at Hamleys and you get one of these cool name badges I've still got it so yeah Good old Hamleys. I like Hamleys. It's a cool place to go and just hang out. There's a restaurant, well, not a restaurant, coffee shop, waffles. Mm. So yeah, so I did Hamleys and then I also got another job. So whilst working for Merlin the second time, I had about three or four jobs on the go. So I, I was quite tired. Um, I worked for Costa. Yeah, I became a barista, which I'm really happy about because I really love coffee and... Um, I actually really enjoyed this job. It was really nice. I used to do opens a lot. So I used to get up at like 6am, uh, finish at like midday and then go over to Legoland in the afternoon. Um, so yeah, 
Um, but yeah, it was really cool. Uh, got to actually properly learn about how to make proper coffee. And I think this is when I became even more addicted to coffee because I used to love coffee a lot and going out for coffee, just loved going out for coffee. And yeah, uh, and I even made it there sh for a short period of time when they updated themselves and they went from that crossover period of working for Whitbreads, Costa, to Costa, which was now owned by Coca-Cola. Oh. That was a scandal when there was so much Pepsi we used to sell Pepsi at Costa and then all of a sudden Coca-Cola took over, get rid of all that Pepsi and work for Costa. So yeah, so then I did those two, uh, lots of jobs. And then after I finished at Legoland and all these kind of jobs, uh, in between that I did a Panto tour and I worked for Orton Towers for one of their scare fests um, where I did a show called uh what was it called freaky funk squad so yeah so i did that which was cool and then the job that i had just before all this crazy stuff happened was working for a company called what can i not show you i won't show you this this picture again i don't take good photos when people try and make ids out of me but for these guys i work for piano ferries um and piano ferries i was an ENTS manager for a while and then i ended up getting a promotion this time last year and I became an entertainment coordinator and you know what it was a job that I actually really enjoyed uh, I worked every hour of every day um, but I looked after theme breaks I did managers installs cover everything it was great I uh, got to meet some amazing people and got to work up in Hull um, so yes yeah, so it was a good time this time last year I took a promotion uh, and yeah and then this year on the 17th of March, it all went weird, but hey ho, we are still living and we're still good. And guess what my newest job is, which is really fun. I don't have a name badge yet, but I do actually have one of these. I'm now working for Sainsbury's. So the life of an actor, and the life of the actor who's more out of work than in work, what's that saying about my life? Um, so yeah. Uh, I now do early mornings. I do 2 a.m. till 6 a.m. at Sainsbury's until this all goes back to normal and I can go and start getting entertainment work again. So yeah, so there you go. Short and sweet, there is a little rundown of all the jobs that I have done.